Yo, what is up, everybody, and welcome back to the Sooner Surge. And this is Jackson once again. And in this episode, I'll be doing a little bit of a recruiting update of the month of February. Even though things have been quiet, Oklahoma's been doing quite a bit behind the scenes, starting to push for a lot of targets. 2024 is going to get started rolling soon. I know Sooner fans starting to get a little bit impatient, but it's all right. Everyone just needs to stay calm. The first commit's going to come soon. So I guess we can start out with four-star QB, uh, Michael Hawkins. Now, I know after Kendall Bryles left to TCU, there was a lot of buzz about him and a lot of stuff that people were kind of wondering what was going to happen with him. Was TCU going to become a factor? Well, I can confirm, in fact, TCU is coming in to plan his recruitment. He's really a big Kendall Bryles guy. He loved Kendall Bryles at Arkansas. Now, I still think OU leads this battle. Um, I don't see any way OU doesn't win this. But it also kind of causes me a little bit of cause for concern because there was a report today by On3, I believe, that Oklahoma starting to push hard for 2024 four-star QB Michael Van Buren. And, and as a few guys know, back during the season, he took a visit to OU. And OU really was pursuing him and Hawkins hard. I don't know if this is going to be like the Arnold and Rashada whenever OU was fighting for them too. It's kind of – I don't know if it's going to be first guy is going to first come, first serve. I think OU would prefer to have Hawkins over Van Buren. But no, no matter who you take, both QBs are going to be studs. Both great players, and in the end, Hawkins will be a sooner. Um, I do expect Hawkins to probably commit by April at the latest. Um, I think that's as far back as he wants to push his recruitment. I know he wanted to commit on the 28th or sometime in January. But obviously, we know everything that was going on. Him wanting to really work through his transfer from Allen to Frisco Emerson and other things like that. And then at running back, you know, it's kind of been a battle between four guys. Caden uh, Durham, first guy. I mean, you know, he's from Moore, I believe, Oklahoma. He has a lot of his family Sooner fans. Um, he said in multiple interviews about his recruitment that OU leads. Um, o- OU feels like home. I think it's an OU and LSU battle. Then you have James Peoples, who actually is a guy I believe OU leads for too. And I think P- Peoples or Durham, if you can get them both, both amazing, amazing players, both top 100 guys, both absolute studs. And then whenever you look at Jeremy Payne, kind of you don't really know if he's going to commit to OU. I know there's a crystal wall, but I don't know how much I really believe that. Heard a lot of things about his recruitment. And then obviously I believe Xavier Robinson, who's out of Oklahoma, um, stud player. I think OU will actually prefer him as an athlete. Um, obviously I think they'll, they're will they going to take him as an athlete. I don't think they can take him as a running back because we'll have too many scholarship spots. But, yeah, that's that. And then wide receiver – I don't really know much about how things are going with that. Obviously, Bryant Wesco is the only guy I've heard some buzz for. Uh, Zion Riggins, OU was pursuing him hard. I don't know where OU stands there, nor was Zion Kearney. Um, kind of up in the air, but I think Bryant Wesco could be a guy that commits within the next couple months, especially whenever you get that 20, 2024 area in the DFW rolling. It's just going to be, I think – a seismic shift of things. And then, you know, tight end, I don't know anything about what Joe John Finley is going to do with tight end, right? They'll take one and two. Honestly, I don't even know who they're pursuing. And then offensive line, I mean, Casey Poe, Max Anderson are the two, two guys I think that will for sure end up sooner. Um, Andrew Sprague, he's a guy out of the Missouri area. I don't see him coming to OU. From things I've heard, he's not really an OU guy. Um, you know, defensive line, Colin Simmons and Zeno Umiazulu, two guys at edge. OU does not have a chance with, with Colin Simmons at all. He will not be a sooner. Um, it's kind of weird what what's going on with him because he says OU's in his recruitment, but I think he's kind of playing OU. And then Zeno Umiazulu, that's an in, interesting guy, once again. Um you know, I don't really know where OU stands with him. I could see him ending up as the oh, maybe the only edge I would be take out of this class. And then there's 
Jay Sean Ross, if I believe that's his name, out of Missouri, three star the end, another edge. Oh, you will take another guy so I could see rising significantly in the rankings. Now, not like a PJ Adebore rise, but a, a guy that goes up into four star territory. And then you have guys like Nigel Smith, um, Xavier Sims, uh, Williams Noweri, and then obviously David Stone. Now, Williams Noweri is the, no, the number one defensive lineman in the class. Um, OU is second in his recruitment, in my opinion, to Missouri. Now, I know Sooner fans don't want to hear this, but Williams Nowary is a guy who builds his recruitment based upon <laughs> relationships, and he was there first for him. And M Missouri was one of the first schools to offer, and Missouri is just a big factor <laughs> in his recruitment. And then I think OU second. Um, sorry if you hear the dogs in the background. so annoying. But, um, yeah, you know – Williams Nowary, I think OU fans will be super upset if you lose a recruitment to a school like Missouri. But I could see it happen with with a kid like this. He's kind of like Atabari, super quiet, doesn't do much interviews. Um, just really down to earth guy, relationship driven. And then you know the guy all senior fans want to know about David Stone. I know Michigan State's still there. We're starting to hear some more of Ohio State in his recruitment. It's going to be up and down for him as he's a five star. But Sooner fans. Stay calm. He's going to be a Sooner, okay? And then, obviously, N Nigel Smith, um, absolute stud of a player. Expect him to rise to a five-star in 247. Not sure if he'll become a composite five-star, but, ooh, that kid can play. He's talented. And then you have I Xavier Sims. I expect him to be a Sooner. Not much to say there. DB, Aaron, Fly Aaron Flowers, Xavier Filson, and Eli Bowen. All three guys that will end up sooner, that will be your DB class. All of those guys are very, very talented and have other things that are going on for them. And then whenever you look at linebacker Peyton Pierce, Ty Anthony Smith, both guys OU's heavily in on their recruitment. And, yeah, I mean, things have really been quiet because February is the dead period. Um, I do expect things to really kind of – I wouldn't. I would say heat up. That's the best word I would use. Because as March is approaching, the dead period's over. Players are going to start taking visits again, and I expect the commitment to happen. Honestly, probably within the next three to four weeks, month at max. Uh, and then once really this 2024 class gets started, it will be a seismic effect. Other guys will start to commit. Um, that's really how it was in the 2023 class for a little bit. It was Joshua Bass, Eric McCarty, and Jackson Arnold. Then it kind of stopped and then once the april may june hit you just saw not like 20 commits all in that time period so i really do think this is a 2024 class that is going to be super good i expect it to be top five again now i don't know i expect it to be more deep with four star guys not as many three stars but I don't know if you have the top loaded five stars how I'm like you did with arnold and bowen and, and adabore um, but yeah, thank you everyone for tuning in to the Sooner Search. If you haven't, go follow our TikTok, our Instagram, our Twitter, and yeah, that's all for today. Peace.